Hey guys, Mr. Hacker here, back again today. We are going TI Learn about using a fiber optic splicer machine. One, preparation, safety gear. Wear safety glasses and gloves to protect yourself from glass shards and other debris. Clean workspace. Ensure your work area is clean and free from dust and contaminants. Two, equipment. Check machine calibration. Make sure the splicer is properly calibrated according to the manufacturer's instructions. Power supply. Ensure the splicer has a full battery or is properly connected to a power source. 3. Fiber preparation, stripping. Use a fiber stripper to remove the outer coating of the fiber optic cable. Be careful not to nick or damage the glass fiber inside. Cleaning. Clean the stripped fibers with isopropyl alcohol and lint-free wipes to remove any residue or dust. 4. Fiber cleaving. Cleaver setup. Set the fiber cleaver according to the machine's guidelines. Cleaving. Place the stripped fibers into the cleaver and cut them to ensure a clean, flat surface. A precise cleave is crucial for a good splice. 5. Splicing. Process. Fiber placement. Insert the cleaved fibers into the splicer's alignment fixtures. Alignment. Use the splicer's optical sensors to align the fibers accurately. Some machines are automated and will handle this process. Fusion splicing. Initiate the fusion process. The machine will heat and fuse the fibers together. This usually takes a few minutes, depending on the machine and type of splice. 6. Testing and finalizing. Inspection. Once the splice is complete, inspect it using a